Hey there, this is Chad Barber, and uh, so how do you play Stairway to Heaven on the guitar? Uh, I showed you some of the solos, or the solo part, most of the solo part. Today I'm going to show you how to play the intro, the intro part. And uh, so anyway, so that's what this video is about, how to play Stairway to Heaven on, on the guitar. And I'm using an electric guitar, you can use an acoustic guitar. Um, so here I'm just going to get into it. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. Tell me why you don't like it. And if you want to see these notifications whenever I make a new video, you can always hit the subscribe button and the little bell that says notify me every time Chad makes a video. Alright, and so here's what I'm, here's the, the beginning. So that's what I'm, I'm going to show you today. Alright, so all you're going to do is you're going to take your pointer finger you're gonna put it on the fifth fret. You're gonna put the you're gonna put your pointer finger over all the strings, the first, the E, the B, the G, and the D over the on the fifth fret, and you're gonna hold them all down. Okay? And the first three chords are gonna do that. You're gonna you're gonna have that thing, your finger there. So make it tough. Make it make it. I'm gonna get used to it being there. All right. So you're gonna do. You're not gonna use a pick on this song. You're gonna use your finger picking. Okay. So you put your pointer finger over those four strings on the fifth fret. And then you're gonna do. You're gonna take your your ring finger and you're gonna put it over the seventh fret, the D string. And then you're gonna pick. Use your fingers and pick them straight down. So it's gonna go. So you're gonna use your thumb to hit the D string. You're gonna use your your pointer finger to hit the G string. You're gonna use your birdie finger to hit the B string. And you're gonna use your ring finger to hit the E string. A minor, by the way. Okay, so that's the first time. Then the second chord, you're gonna leave your your pointer finger over all four of the, the top strings, the highest strings, the high E, the B, the G, and the D. This time you're gonna take your, your, your birdie finger and you're gonna put it over the sixth fret of the D string. And you're gonna take your either your ring finger or your pinky and you're gonna put it on the seventh fret of the high E string. I use my pinky. Okay, and then what you're gonna do picking wise is you're gonna take your thumb, you're gonna you're gonna pick with your thumb, you're gonna pick the D with your thumb, along with the E, you're gonna use your ring finger to pluck that together with the E, not pluck it, but pick that one together. What do you call it when you're finger picking? I guess you call it picking. Anyways, so you're gonna you're gonna pick those, you're gonna pick the D and the high E together. And again, you're on that second chord. You're putting the your your pointer your pointer finger over all four of those strings. That the, the highest ones, the E, the B, the G, and the D. And you're taking your your birdie finger, putting it on the, the fifth fret of the D string, and you're taking your pinky and putting it over the seventh fret of the E string. And so you're plucking those first two, the, the D and the E together with your thumb and your ring finger. Okay, and then you're going to take your... You're gonna use your, um, your birdie finger to pluck, pluck, to pick the B string, pull it up. And then you're gonna use your pointer finger to pick the G string. But then you're gonna use your ring finger to hit the high E. High e. So you're, the, it's gonna be, you're basically gonna hit, you're gonna strum, but you're gonna hit those two strings together. Then you're gonna use your, your ring finger to hit the, the, D, the B string, your pointer finger, or your, wait, no, your birdie finger to hit the B string, your pointer finger to hit the G string, and then your ring finger to the high E. That's, that's the strumming pattern for the next few chords. But it sounds like this. So that's the second chord we are done. And the third chord, you're gonna leave your, your fingers, your first, your pointer finger over those four strings, and you're gonna use your pinky to hit the high E on the seventh, eighth fret. And then you're gonna do the same exact strumming pattern.
tricky part of these chords is to keep it where that you they all sound clean. You know, because to me, it, for for some reason, it's hard for me to get to to not let the B get sound like that. You gotta get, you gotta keep the strings down, and you gotta make sure the other fingers do not get them get, get in the way. And I have short but fat fingers, so it makes it difficult for me. See that? It's easy to go. It's gonna press harder. Usually, when I, if I press harder, it'll it'll make it sound cleaner. All right. So then, that's the hard part. Okay. But that's also the crux of the song. That's that's Stairway to Heaven right there. But I mean, that really is the unique part of Stairway to Heaven. The rest of it's pretty easy. So then you're going to go to a D, and you're going to do the same exact put, uh, strumming picking pattern. So. Then you're going to do a, a modified F. You know, a regular F would be... You're just going to do the, that same thing without the, the high E being... Um, Pressed, you're gonna have that open. The high is gonna be open, and so but what that chord basically is: you put your pointer finger over the, the first fret of the B string, you put your birdie finger over the second fret of the G string, and then you put your your ring finger over the third fret of the D string. You're gonna go. You're gonna do this. You're gonna start off with the same strum picking pattern, except you're not gonna instead of going to the high E, you're gonna you're gonna go back to the B. So it's um, you're gonna pick the D and the E together and you're gonna use your again use your your uh, birdie finger to click the click to, to pick the B string and then the pointer finger to hit the G string but you're not gonna go to the E you're, you're gonna use your you're gonna use your um, your birdie finger again to hit that B string again instead of going to the high E like you've been doing you're gonna go to the, the B string instead. And then you're gonna go to the high E. Just drum those three in a row down the E, B, G. So it's. And then you're gonna go to G, A minor. I, and uh, so that G, it, I, it works. I'm not sure if that's the exact chord, is, is, if that's the chord that, that Jimmy Page used or, or if it's the exact right chord, but it works. You basically, once you get that part done, you're going to take your um, pointer finger and pick the A, and you're going to go. And all you're doing is you're taking the A, and you're sliding it from, you know, I think I slide it from about the fifth fret up to the seventh fret, eighth fret. I meant up from the fifth fret to the the, the eighth fret, and then and then you pick you pick on the you pick the uh, seventh fret of that. And I use I use my birdie finger for the, the first slide, then I use my pointer finger for the the seventh fret. So we because I do that sounds. Go a little further. The second time you're going to use that same finger picking pattern that we used in the second and third chord, but you'll use that also in the first chord. So the first time that does that chord, it goes. The second time it goes. And then the rest, the next three chords are the same. Video, if you don't, and subscribe. If you subscribe, I will also smile.